Now, the next topic, we introduce you the property. of expected value. Okay. Now, property one. Suppose the variable of interest, the variable of interest, the random variable, is W, okay? The random variable of interest is W. Property one, expected value of C times W, okay? Is C times expected value of W, okay? That's property one. Where? C is a constant and W is a random variable. Okay? Now, property two. Expected value of a constant is a constant itself. And why is that? Let's look at this picture. Okay, say this is W. And here, W equal to C. W equal to C, this is a line graph. W equal to C is what? Probability W equal to C is one. What does that mean? That means there is only one possible number for variable W. Okay, so this is one. So let's apply our formula. Expected value of W is expected value of C. And what is that? That is C times probability that W equal to C. But W equal to C, the chance is 100%. So C times one is what? Is C. Okay, so EC, expected value of a constant, is a constant itself, okay? Now, next one. Property three, expected value of W plus, W plus what? Say W plus T, okay? Both W and T are Random variables. Both W T are random variables. So E W plus T is E W plus E T. Okay? Now, the equality can hold, okay, even if W and T are not independent, okay? So this is true, very general, okay? Independent condition. Independence between what? W and T are not required, okay? Independence is not required. Okay? 